If you're someone like me who's constantly looking for different ways to improve your life, you might find handy that ChatGPT can actually help you improve your mental health. And before I start, I'd really like to emphasize, by no means ChatGPT can replace a professional counselor or a professional psychologist. Finding yourself struggling with a challenge in your life, with your mental health state, do not feel scared to look for professional help. They know what's best for you. Yet, if you're someone like me who's curious about how this works and how you can leverage it for your own life, let me show you. One of the first use cases you can actually use for ChatGPT is to feed it your journal entries and actually ask questions about your past and get a different insight on yourself. So I found this post which says that the person fed ChatGPT with the past journey journal entries to talk to himself. This person provided the journal entries and then asked questions about the self. What was the biggest fear when she was younger? What would have been the most fulfilled? What was the biggest motivation, etc. And this can actually be a really insightful task on yourself, whether you already have your own journal and then you want to get a different view on how you think, how you see the world. I find this to be really powerful. Now, bear in mind that the information that you provide the AI with will remain in the system. Thus, be careful to specify that, that you want for it to be deleted whether that's something you want. If you don't mind sharing with the world and how you feel and how you felt, be my guest. Now, there's a caveat to this and I find it myself. I like actually journal every now and then and it does not replace pen and paper. I mean, you can use ChatGPT as your own journal if you feel like writing more, but the feeling of actually writing on pen with pen on a paper, I think it's one of the best feelings you can find. And while many of you might find it interesting and something worth it to write it to an AI, it's not for me. Once you're done journaling, and if you want to seek for a different way to view the world, you can take ChatGPT as a tool for self-reflecting. Basically, self-reflecting is similar to journaling, only that instead of you giving, explaining yourself how you feel, you basically tell someone else or something else to tell you what to reflect on. For example, I liked something that might work and that you could use to engage in self-reflecting activities is to say, I'd like to engage in some reflection and gain insights into my current situation. Can you provide me with a thought-provoking question related to work? And then basically reflect on it as you would do it with journaling but instead of providing yourself with the topic that you want to re reflect on the ai would help you and provide you with the question so for example right now it's saying what aspects of your current work bring you the most fulfillment and joy and how can you prioritize those elements to create a more fulfilling and purpose driven career and I find this to be really, really powerful tool because I wouldn't have thought of something like this to journal myself. And while giving, being given the prompt on self-reflection, you are able to gain a different insight on how you think about a certain topic. Not only it provides you the question, you can even write it down on the computer, but you can also write it down on your journal and reflect on your journal. So be my guest once again. I feel like journaling on pen and paper is way better than journaling on a computer. The third way you can use ChatGPT for your mental health is to use cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is basically a technique that helps people see from a different point of view a certain topic. Let's say that you think that you're not good enough and that you've been lately thinking that you're not good enough, a little bit like an imposter syndrome. If you have negative thoughts, cognitive restructuring can provide you with a different way of seeing the world. So a little bit of like a self-reflection, but the other person is telling you the different aspects of your life that are actually helping you right now. For example, something that I use right now, it's I'm struggling with negative thoughts and would like to engage in cognitive restructuring. I feel like I'm not good enough and often compare myself to others and end up believing that I'll never measure up to the successes and achievements. Can you help me challenge and reframe my negative thinking patterns? And just like that, 
AI will help you think in a different pattern, in a different way. It will tell you how to do it and will guide you through the process. So first you'll identify the negative thoughts. In this case, it's I'm not good enough and you're comparing yourself. You'll examine the evidence and ask yourself objective evidence in where you're not considering yourself to be good enough. What evidence is there that says I'm not good enough? Then you'll consider alternatives. You'll find the balanced perspective, replace negative thoughts with positive ones. For example, instead of saying I'm not good enough, it's I have my own talents and abilities that make me unique. And then you'll practice self-compassion. -compa you'll treat yourself with kindness. And last, you'll take action. It literally tells you a seven step way that you can engage in cognitive restructuring. Now, if you're someone that cannot sit still like me, someone that it's quite anxious and nervous about present, future and past, you might want to engage in meditation. While OpenAI cannot provide you with voice to help you into guided meditation, it can actually provide, provide you with uh, different resources actually that you can use to get started with meditation. So for example, you can literally say who you are, what you struggle with, and the AI will generate some meditation exercise for, for yourself. So the prompt that I will be using, for example, is I'm someone who cannot sit still and moves quite a lot. I want to get started with meditation, but I don't know where to start. I feel like 10 minutes is more than enough to get me started. Can you provide me with meditation exercises and resources that might help me find what I need to start my meditation journey? Just like that, the AI will provide you with an explanation on meditation, like always, and a few different meditation exercises that you can use to start your meditation journey. In this case, mindful breathing, body scan meditations, and guided meditations, walking meditations. That was actually interesting going for a walk, quiet, peaceful place, and walk slowly, deliberately. If you're someone like me who cannot sit still for 10 minutes, maybe a walking meditation can be insightful. And once you've got like the different ways, you can actually ask for a few apps or mindfulness books that might help you and teach you what you need. Now, the fifth way you can use ChatGPT for your, your mental health benefits, it's by setting goals and accountability. So you can discuss your goals with ChatGPT and ask it to help you specific set specific action steps or provide accountability. Speaking out loud your goals will actually get you a different view on what you need to do, what where you are at, and enhance the motivation and keep you focused. So what I will be doing, I would say, I want to set some goals for myself and hold myself accountable. Help me, help me with that, just like that. The AI will help you establish a system for holding yourself accountable, setting goals in a specific way to learn your aspirations and motivate yourself to make progress. And it will actually provide you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. A good one here is to find yourself a partner who might want to help you. And if you want more information on how you can actually set goals for yourself and achieve them, please head to this video and please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.